Hello everyone, it's Larry. For a long time, I wanted to make a LEGO version of these Greater Anglia Class 755 trains. They were introduced in 2019 and run here in East Anglia, and in my opinion, they are amazing and look spectacular. So, over the course of a year, I gave it a go. I first tried to do it at a full-size 6 stud wide scale, but I struggled with working in this scale at the time and dropped it after a while. I also thought I'd heavily rely on stickers to portray the train's funky livery, as that would be hard to do with pieces, and I realised that builds look far more impressive if the livery is built into it rather than slapped on top, even if that's exactly how real trains get liveries. Much later, after I switched to studio, I figured out a way I could make a fairly accurate build of the train's side at a 4 stud wide small scale. I definitely took inspiration from LEGO's official small scale creator train. So I evolved it into a mock-up of a full front carriage. I was happy with a lot of it and kept a lot the same in the final version, but I wasn't all that chuffed with the front, it just looked wrong. I knew that accurately portraying the curvature of the real train's front was just not going to happen at this scale, but I still felt like I could do better than this. The biggest problems were the lack of red going down to the lights, a notable feature on the real train, and the bottom part looking too jagged and boxy. So I tinkered with ways to fix this until a radical design overhaul, using studs not on top, or snot techniques. And whilst, yeah, it's not perfect, I think this is a much nicer front design. Or back design, as they're kind of the same. Moving on, the side was still not quite there yet. The bottom was thin, the door windows just kind of end at the top, and whilst I was pleased with the snot window pieces on their sides, they didn't quite line up with the pieces on the bottom. Thankfully, while building the middle carriage, I realised that if I reverse the direction of the windows, they lined up perfectly, and oh the satisfaction of that was unreal. The engine carriage was fun to make too, the grill bits are on their sides and I'm pleased with how it came together. And with that, I was basically done. I ordered all the bits from Bricklink, and built them with my friend Mads from Mads and Larry. I think you've been already, it's too long. <laughs> I think you're absolutely cracked. If you want to see more of that, there's a link to the full video in the description. And with that, it was finished. I am very happy with how it came out. And here it is on narrow gauge track on my shelf, alongside my other creations. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cool. I think we've got enough. Anything to say to the camera? Oh! Subscribe to Larry's Lego and Mads and Larry. <laughs>